Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, um, you know, when we talk about how Microsoft is trying to bug everybody with stuff that, that should be simple. Um, and, you know, I use this feature. I like it, and it syncs, and I'm happy to have access to my stuff everywhere else. It's not perfect. It syncs files and folders that should not be, but still. Um, I, I use it because I've, you know, got one terabyte of space, but, but I, I have a rent uh, that goes with this. If you don't care about it, if you don't want to use it, it's more complicated than ever to shut it down. And I'm talking about the OneDrive app. When you look at the OneDrive app that is on your PC, you might have had it and it's syncing and whatever, and maybe you don't want to use it. <laughs> now, if you right click on it, there's no standard options of, oh, this is, um, you know, what, what do you want to do? You want to sh sh close it? You want to, no, no, no. You, you have a panel that pops up. The panel actually has these options, none of which is directly telling you quit OneDrive, shut down OneDrive, or whatever. Uh, there's settings, unlock, personal vault, and so on. You have to actually expand the pause syncing to quit OneDrive. And even then, it says, oh, you want to quit OneDrive? Really? Uh, now this rendering is bad. You see it doesn't even fit the window. But anyways, uh, <laughs> I I get it that that you want people to use OneDrive, but I'm a little a little sad that you always have to do it in a sneaky way to try to prevent people from using it. It becomes tiresome when you force people into something. It becomes tiresome when Instead of being clear and open about everything, you're just always making things complicated. Um, I am, <laughs> I, I, you know, I think Microsoft needs to ha have a change in, in in its direction of what all of this is happening and what it's doing. You know, there's a way to tell everybody, hey, we have these great features that you can use. And up to you to use them or not. And that way is not, oh, here's OneDrive, and by the way, it's tough to, to, to find out where to shut it down or close it. And even when you want to shut it down, it's going to annoy you with, oh, really, you want to quit? Yeah, that's usually why you want to find that option to shut it down. So anyways, one of the things you can do if you don't use OneDrive and want to prevent it from just starting up on your PC, just go to the task manager and go to your startup tab and in the startup apps just find OneDrive and on the OneDrive just remove or disable the startup. Once you disable the startup when you restart your PC it won't be there anymore. But uh, come on Microsoft you can do better than that and do it more seriously. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.